Okay, so in this video, we will determine whether the series converges or diverges using the limit comparison test. So we are summing 2 plus 3 to the n over 8 to the n plus n to the 4. So this is our original sequence. And as always, when we want to apply the limit comparison test, all we have to figure out is what is a n roughly when n is large? So we have a fraction, we simply have to single out the dominant term on top and on the bottom. When n is large, clearly 3 to the n is way bigger than 2. 3 to the n plus up to infinity, 2 is a constant, so our dominant term on the numerator is 3 to the n. Over. When n goes to infinity, a to the n goes to infinity, n to the 4 goes to infinity, so both are very large. But, a to the n is an exponential function, which we know is way bigger than a simple power function. Recall our discussion about a hierarchy of functions. So sure, n to the 4 is large, but way smaller than a to the n. And so a to the n is the dominant term on our denominator. And you can of course combine this as simply 3 over 8 to the n, and this is now bn. And you should be happy about this because this is now a geometric sequence. So as you sum over bn, you'll have a geometric series, and you know what happens in this case. So, we have to verify now that the two conditions are met. The first condition is trivial, that a n and b n are both positive. This is obvious. So again, a short mention of this fact. And the second thing to check is that our intuition is correct, that indeed, when n is large, a n is roughly 3 over 8 to the n. And of course, to verify that our intuition is correct, we simply have to evaluate the limit as n approaches infinity of a n over b n. If this limit is positive, our intuition is correct, and then we can apply the limit comparison test. So let's see. So we are dividing a n by b n, and we'll look at b n not in this form, but in this form. If you divide by a fraction, you of course multiply by the reciprocal. So this will be times 8 to the n over 3 to the n. And here we have to be careful. Let's not mindlessly multiply out 8 to the n times this and 3 to the n times this. We can do better if we realize that the 8 to the n here really should go with the a to the n here, and the 3 to the n here should really go with the 3 to the n here. So let's put them up together. Look at the over 3 to the n. We are dividing 2 plus 3 to the n by 3 to the n, so if you divide something by 3 to the n, it's the same as multiplying it by 1 over 3 to the n. Check. And now if you multiply this fraction by 8 to the n, it's the same as if you were to divide it by 1 over 8 to the n. As 1 over 1 over 8 to the n is simply 8 to the n. And now we can multiply out, and we will have a very straightforward limit. We'll have 2 over 3 to the n plus 1 over 1 plus n to the 4 over 8 to the n. And let's see now. As n goes to infinity, 2 over 3 to the n clearly shrinks to 0. 2 is a constant. 3 to the n goes to infinity, a constant over infinity shrinks to zero. So this is trivial. This is not so trivial, right? As n goes to infinity, n to the 4 goes to infinity, a to the n goes to infinity. But, if you recall, what we have on top is a power function, what we have on the bottom is an exponential function. So a to the n is way larger than 
n to the 4. So as n goes to infinity, it did the n will kill off n to the 4, and the whole thing will shrink to 0. Recalling again our, our hierarchy of functions. If you're not comfortable with this, or if you're forgetting it, then you can simply take this aside. Look at the limit as n goes to infinity of n to the 4 over a to the n. You have an infinity over infinity case. If you apply L'Hopital's rule four times, you will arrive at the same conclusion. But if you recall the hierarchy, and I hope you should, I hope you do, sorry, then you can directly just quote that this is shrinking to zero. And so in the end, we have 1 over 1, which is simply 1, which is positive. So we're saying that when n is very large, a n over b n is roughly 1, and so a n is roughly b n. Which shows that our intuition was correct. So if we sum a n from 1 to infinity, this will be approximately summing b n from 1 to infinity. And now we can, of course, replace b n by 3 over 8 to the n. And again, what we have here is a simple geometric series. We are summing consecutive powers of a fixed number, 3 over 8. So an absolute value r is 3 over 8. Well, r is 3 over 8. So the absolute value does nothing, but the key point is this is strictly less than 1. So this series is a convergent geometric series. So we have convergence. So this is nothing but a real number, therefore it's finite. So the original series of positive terms is finite, therefore converges by the limit comparison test. And again, you don't need to write the limit comparison test. You can simply write LCT. And that's it.